Now we're going to multiply using short multiplication, but this time we're going to get three digit answers. So first we have 24 times 6. We can set the question out like this with our two digit number on top, and because we're using short multiplication, we only need one answer line. Now we start by multiplying our ones digit. 4 times 6 is 24, but we write that as 2, 4. So with our first digit of the number above the next place value column along, so above our tens. Now we can move on to multiplying our tens digit. 2 times 6 is 12, but we need to add the 2 that's on top. So 2 times 6 is 12, plus 2 is 14. Now normally we write the first digit above the next place value column along, but because we don't have any more digits to multiply, we can just write the 14 in our answer line. So that gives us 144. Now let's try 74 times 2. We can set the question out in the same way, and we start by multiplying our 1s. 4 times 2 is 8, and that's just a single digit number, so we can write 8 in our answer line, and we don't need to write anything above the next place value column along, because 4 times 2 is 8, and that's only a one digit or single digit number. So we can move straight on to the tens. 7 times 2 is 14. We don't have anything to add, and we don't have any more digits to multiply. So 7 times 2 is 14, and we can just write that in our answer line to give us an answer 148. Finally, we have 3 times 45. So here, the single digit number is written first, but that doesn't matter, because with multiplication, order doesn't matter. So we can set the question out in the same way, with our two digit number on top. Starting with our ones, 5 times 3 is 15, so that's 1, 5, with the first digit above our tens. And now, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And we can just write 13 in our answer line, because we don't have any more digits to multiply. We don't have any other digit or any other place value to write the first digit above. So our answer is 135. Now let's take a closer look at these questions and see why this method works. So why, if we get a two digit answer, we write the first digit above the next place value column along, but if we don't have any more digits to multiply and we get a two digit answer, we can just write that in our answer line. First, we had 24 times six. So we can represent 24 with two tens and four ones. We're multiplying by six, so we can show the 24, two, three, four, five, six times, because we're multiplying by six. Now doing that means that we have 24 ones, but we can regroup. When we have 10 ones, we can regroup those to make one 10. And here, we can do that twice. We also know that when we have 10 tens, we can regroup those into 100. So now that we've regrouped, let's look at what we have. We have 100, we have four tens, one, two, three, four, and we have four ones. So that's why our answer is 144. Now our next question was 74 times two. So we can represent 74 with seven tens and four ones, and because we're multiplying by two, we can show that twice. Now here, we only have eight ones, so we can't regroup those. We can't make an extra 10, which is why we don't have anything written above our tens digit. But we can regroup 10 of our tens to make an extra 100. So that gives us 100, four tens, and eight ones, so 148 as our answer. Then our last question was three times 45. So we can represent 45 with four tens 
and 5 once, and because the other number in our multiplication is 3, we can show what we have 3 times. Now here we have 15 ones, so we can regroup those into 1 10 and 5 ones, which is why we write 1 above our tens column and 5 as the ones digit of our answer. But now we have 13 tens. We can regroup 10 of those tens to make an extra 100, and doing that means that we get 103 tens, so 135 as our answer.